Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. And this is quite a conflictual energy. I'm seeing here, you may have had a disagreement with somebody. You may have had quite the fight with someone. And um, this person is showing up here as having a lot of um, negative thoughts or feelings around the situation. Um, there is a sense that um, this is becoming quite difficult, straining, and you guys may not be seeing eye to eye on um, many matters with this card. Um, so I am seeing here somebody withdrawing from the situation. This could be you dropping your swords, walking away um, from this conflict and taking time for yourself um, because this um, situation is no longer bringing peace. Um, you know, there is just a lot of power struggle energy you know, you know, treating each other not very kindly. And um, there is a sense here of walking away from the conflict, withdrawing from the conflict. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Cancer. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Four of Wands. And this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Next, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. So you could be dealing with another Cancer. And finally, we have the Sun card, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with the Leo. Okay, so I do see here, um, there is a sense that things could turn around in this situation. Um, however, I, I see some, um, some sort of uh, walking away, um, being the bigger person, choosing not to engage in the conflict and the drama with that Five of Swords. And I do see that when you withdraw, this person still will want to save the connection. With the Chariot energy, this person still wants to work on things. They want to make up. They want to make things up to you. They want to do right by you. And um, they could be coming towards you. They could be traveling towards you. This person is very determined to um, make things work here. Um, they do want this Four of Wands here with you. They want happy at times. In fact, I do see you guys overcoming obstacles with that Chariot card. Um, so the, whatever this thing is that you guys are not seeing eye to eye on, that's causing the conflict and the, the fighting. Um, there is a sense that you guys will overcome that. And I see this person making some sort of move towards you to do that. Um, definitely, this is very positive energy. And especially with the Sun card, I do see you guys... Um, reaching a, a happier place in your relationship. So you will be able to overcome those obstacles with a lot of determination here. Um, somebody here is putting in a lot of efforts to try to make things work because they really do want a victory with you. They do want success in this situation and they believe in this connection. So I do see them um, going the extra mile to try to salvage situ the situation. And um, they may even be quite apologetic for this Five of Swords energy. Um, so there is somebody who is dropping their swords and withdrawing from conflict, um, being the bigger person here. And I do see um, this is a connection where you guys could really have this happy, I'm seeing happier times on the horizon for this connection. Um, this is you guys celebrating your union, making up. Um, you know, enjoying each other, focusing on the positives of the connection, focusing on things about each other that you actually like instead of your differences, coming out of that power struggle and, um, you know, really entering quite the bliss, fa bliss phase, a phase where you guys are actually more joyous. So I do see this chariot as signaling that you guys will overcome these obstacles um, together. There is a, a need for someone here to, uh, I'm seeing one person 
backing down there is a need for someone to be the bigger person and backing down and um the other person coming towards that person and you guys are able to overcome these obstacles together okay so i'm going to put let's clarify these cards cancer So at the bottom of the deck, we have lovers, Gemini energy, could be dealing with a Gemini. And this is, again, a, a, an energy of two people coming together, making up, having peace, but also decisions having to be made first. So definitely, you guys are, I am seeing you guys eventually getting on the same page. Um, there is a sense that you guys can overcome this conflict, um, but there is a need for, you know, reciprocating both of you guys doing this together. Um, and I do see... Um, it's almost like a mirroring effect. Somebody puts their pride down and this inspires the other person to do the same. So definitely there is a bit of a mirroring energy with this lover's card. And I do see um, there could be peace on the horizon here, happier times. Because you guys do have love for each other. But the lovers, this is an energy of operating very much from the heart space. So um, there is no room for pride when there is love, you know. And I do see somebody putting down both partners eventually putting down their pride um, and uh, working on something together so that they can overcome this struggle, this power struggle. And I do see happier times. It's almost like you guys are celebrating something together, celebrating your union in, in a way. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Knight of Cups and this is Water Energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. And finally, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so I am seeing here that there is a situation that will be saved. Um, with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, definitely I see because we have the Sun card above it that... Um, you know, you, you guys will work on things. You, you will be able to save this connection. Um, I do see that, you know... This, the Ten of Swords in the upright can show a bit of an, a loss, an emotional loss. With it being in the reverse here, I do see you guys avoiding a loss. So you guys will be able to work on this. And I do see this person also coming towards you from an emotional place. There is a lot of a giving energy because this person is willing to put their pride aside and to be emotionally available and honest with you and vulnerable with you because they are committed. They are very committed to you. This person is all in with this Knight of Pentacles energy. They, they're not going to give up easily. This is something they value, they care about, and they, they want something long term. And with the Chariot, they are determined to make this work because they believe in the connection. So I do see this person, you know, putting their pride aside. I do see you both um, being vulnerable with this lover's energy, um, opening your heart to each other and hearing each other out and um, overcoming, um, you know, strife. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Cancer. Okay, so the card says, Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Okay, so I do see here that um, this th there could be quite a happy ending to this situation. Um, I see this as the end of the the struggle, the fighting, that phase of the relationship. 
um, maybe closing out. Um, I see happy endings with this Four of Wands. Um, definitely, you guys will be able to come to a resolution um, to whatever the difficulty that was with the drama over there. You will be able to come to a conclusion um, when it comes to that. And I do see this um, stemming from a place of being more vulnerable with each other, um, you know, putting down the pride and putting down the swords and really hearing each other and operating from the heart space instead of the ego. Um, I do see, um, you know, success, happy you guys are moving towards a more blissful time in this connection okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you cancer okay so the card says morning glory affection and determination the morning glory which blooms for a day differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years okay so there is definitely an overcoming of difficulty this person is still um is very determined with this chariot energy and there is affection behind that determination so i'm seeing here um they will give it their all um here you will both be giving it your all i see you both meeting each other halfway and um as well as you know there, there may have been some some strife in the connection but i do see it contributing more so towards making this connection more resilient i don't see it destroying the connection with this ten of swords i see you guys um overcoming these obstacles successfully um you know and it starts with really being vulnerable and putting down putting pride aside putting down the ego and operating from the heart space with that lover's energy um there is a lot of affection here and this person is showing up as you know with this chariot energy there is determination there as well okay so that's what i'm seeing for you cancer i hope you have a really really good day cancer bye cancer